Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. For those of you who are new to my videos, my name is MJ and I'm an architect working with SketchUp for the last 23 years now. And when I first started this channel almost three years ago, my ultimate goal was to get enough material to create exactly the video you're about to see right now. So in preparation for this video, I already uploaded a ton of in-depth tutorials about almost every extension you'll see today. I'll put the link for the playlist in the description. And I also prepared a zip file for you to download with installation files of every single extension featured in this video. You can download it for free or if you want to support the channel and the work I'm doing here, you can donate as much as you'd like. But before we begin, what kind of a YouTube video would this be if I first didn't ask you kindly to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So do it, please. Well, thank you, and now without further ado, after 3 years and 128 SketchUp video tutorials, I give to you, in purely alphabetical order, my top 50 most useful free SketchUp extensions. Number 1. Busier Spline. It lets you draw and edit a variety of polylines, busier and spline curves, all in 3D. Number 2. Bezier Surface. It lets you create Bezier surfaces and edit its shape with a simple but highly functional gizmo. Number 3. Cleanup 3. It optimizes and cleans up your model by purging unused items, merging identical materials, repairing split edges, erasing straight edges, and more. Number 4. Curviloft. It generates surfaces from contours using loft by spline, loft along path, and skinning. Number 5. Edge Tools. It's a collection of tools that allows you to make collinear edges inside a face, check your close polylines lines for gaps and close them, and simplify edges. Number 6. Extrusion Tools. It's a tool set for extruding edges into meshes. It lets you create complex round surfaces as well as linear extrusions. Number 7. Face Creator. It simply creates faces out of closed edge loops. Number 8. Flowify. It lets you bend an object along a complex 3D surface. Number 9. Frito Scale. It allows you to orientate the selection box around an object and interactively apply a number of different transformations such as scaling, tapering, stretching, planar shear, twisting, bending and rotation. Number 10. Front Face Tool. It lets you paint over reversed faces to correctly orientate them without affecting forward facing faces. Number 11. Groups to Components. It bulk converts groups to components. The group's name is transferred to the component's definition's name. Number 12. Helix Along Curve. Just like the name says, it creates helixes with a bunch of settings to control their shape. Number 13. JHS Power Bar. It's a collection of 46 different extensions. You'll get tools like Component Replacer, Face Subdivider, Multiple Random Scale and Rotate and many many more. You'll find the link for the in-depth video tutorial on JHS Power Bar in the description. Number 14. Joint Push-Pull. This extension simply allows you to push-pull round surfaces. Most useful are extrusions along normals and those along vectors. Number 15. Laubwerk. With drag and drop simplicity, you can seamlessly add 3D trees and plants to sketch up and modify their shape, age, season and level of detail with easy to use tools. This is a paid plugin, but comes with a freebie plant kit with several trees and plants that you can use completely free. Number 16. Loose to Groups. This plugin will make groups of all your loose geometry. Number 17. Make Fur. This one generates fur, grass, crowds, etc. using a variety of parameters to distribute them randomly over an area. Number 16. Material Replacer. It's a tool that lets you replace materials by picking from the model. Number 19. Memory Copy. With this plugin, you get to repeat the same transformation of a copied component as many times as you like. Number 20. Merge Layers. It simply merges layers into one. Useful when copying between models. Number 21. Mirror by Curic. This is a simple one-click mirror plugin that also gives you the option to create a copy when mirroring. Number 22. 
multiple offset. It allows you to create multiple offsets inside or outside selected faces with just a couple of clicks. Number 23, Path Copy. This plugin allows you to select a path and then select a group or component to copy along the selected path, allowing you to also set the distance between the copies. Number 24, Project to Face. It generates a wireframe projection of group and components onto a face. Number 25, Push Line. It's a very simple tool for extruding edges by vector. Number 26, Quad Face Tools. This extension is a set of tools that allows you to model with quads inside SketchUp with more ease. You get a set of selection tools as well as tools for adding or removing loop cuts, UV mapping and many many more. Number 27, Random Selection. It's used to randomly select objects by reducing the number of selected entities using a simple slider. Number 28, Random Tools. A set of tools to randomize various things, object placement, rotation, scale, face extrusion, vertex location, and even textures. It also allows to place objects randomly on faces or on edges with scale, rotation, and orientations variations. Number 29, Reset Rotation. It simply resets the rotation of single or multiple objects. Number 30, Round Corner. It performs the rounding of the edges and corners of 3D shapes along a 2D profile in three modes, round corners, sharp corners, and bevel. Number 31, Scale and Rotate Multiple. It takes a selection of groups or components and scales and rotates them based on their center point or the world axes. Number 32, Scale Tools. It's a set of tools for scaling to a fixed length or ratio based on an axis of your choice. There is also a tool for resetting the scale of a component. Number 33. Scale by Tools. This extension contains a set of tools to scale, move or rotate multiple objects or vertices based on a math formula or an image. Number 34. Section Cut Face. It simply adds a face to a section plane. Number 35, Selection Toys. It's a set of commands to manipulate selections. It allows you to filter out particular geometry based on edges, faces, groups, or components. Number 36, Shape Bender. It lets you bend a component or group along a curve or a path. Number 37, Sketchy FFD. It allows you to manipulate the shape of an object by adding a control cage to the mesh and moving the control points of the same cage. Number 36. Slicer. It provides a tool set for slicing up a volume, useful in real model making. Number 39. Soap Skin and Bubble. This plugin allows you to apply a skin over edges and create complex curved surfaces by applying different pressure values to it. Number 40. Solar North. It's a set of tools for setting and displaying the solar north angle that SketchUp uses to calculate the sun location and therefore shadow directions. Number 41. Solid Inspector. Tool that checks if groups or components are solids or not, highlighting holes or other type of errors. Number 42. Split Tools. It's a simple tool to create quad faces out of three different type of faces. Number 43. Text Tools. It searches and replaces text in text entities throughout your model. Number 44. Through Paint. This plugin is part of Frido Tools and it extends the native paint tool with several indispensable tools for UV mapping inside SketchUp. Number 45. Toolbar Editor. It lets you create custom toolbars out of all your installed plugin tools. Number 46. Tools on Surface. It's a set of tools for drawing on curved surfaces with lines, various shapes, offsets, and freehand drawing. Number 47. True Bend. It bends instances to a given degree, keeping the original length of the reference segment. Number 48. Upright Extruder. This plugin practically does the same thing as Follow Me Tool does, but keeps the extruded face upright. Number 49. Weld. With this plugin, you can join multiple connected edges, curves, and arcs into a single polyline. Number 50. 
Wind Door. It allows you to easily create fully customizable windows and doors in just a couple of clicks. And as a final bonus, number 51, Zorro. Simple slice tool to slice through geometry, nested objects, and section planes. And that is all of them. This is where we part ways. Leave a comment below to let me know what is your favorite plugin and if there is another plugin you believe that should have made a list. I want to thank you all for watching and I also want to thank you for liking this video and subscribing. So have a nice day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.